Welcome. This is the 10th in my series of climate mythbuster videos and the myth I'm going to bust today is that Antarctica is gaining ice. A couple of years ago there was a flurry of items in the mass media saying that Antarctica was actually gaining more ice than it was losing and of course the right-wing media particularly jumped on this that led with banner headlines about this saying basically that this proved that global warming was a hoax and we don't need to worry about it anymore. So what was the origin of all of this activity? It was a paper in the Journal of Glaciology by Jay Zwally et al. entitled Mass Gains in the Antarctic Ice Sheet Exceed Losses. The first thing to remember is this is just a single study. It's also a very difficult measurement to make. It relies on measuring the tiny difference between two very large numbers that aren't particularly well known. And they have to be measured over a very large area of the surface of Antarctica. The data only applies up to 2008, so it's of limited applicability. The results have not yet been confirmed by another group, so this is no more than a hypothesis, not a uh, accepted result. And it contradicts several other studies, all of which basically agree with one another, and in particular, the results from the GRACE satellite. Now, the GRACE mission is a very interesting concept. Two satellites fly in formation quite a distance apart, and they measure that distance very accurately with precise lasers. Thus, if there's any change in the gravitational pull from the surface of the Earth, that would be measured by the relative position of these two satellites. Thus, when they go over a place like Antarctica, if the ice is increasing, the gravitational pull will increase. If the ice is decreasing, it will decrease. And so, therefore, consequently, you should get very accurate measurement of how much ice there is down there. And when they fly over Antarctica, they get the following. A steady decrease in Antarctic ice mass. Now, for the Zwolle result to be accepted, they're going to have to find some other explanation for why the mass of Antarctica is decreasing. Remembering that other results from the Antarctic area confirm this sort of level of ice loss from the Antarctic ice cap. So what does the author himself say about this study? Does he say it's an end of global warming? Does he say that global warming is a hoax? No, he doesn't. This is what he said in an interview with Nature magazine. The findings do not mean that Antarctica is not in trouble. I know some of the climate deniers will jump on this and say this means we don't have to worry as much as some people have been making out. It should not take away from the concern about the climate warming. Given that the author himself has not rejected global warming as a result of his study, in fact still seems to be embracing it, I think the media in 2015 were jumping to conclusions. They often confuse land ice, the ice cap which this is about, with sea ice and they're not the same thing. All Zwolle et al. have at the moment is an unconfirmed result of a difficult measurement with limited applicability. Until that confirmation is given, all they have is a hypothesis. In the meantime, there are many other results that come to the exact opposite conclusion. And it's going to be very difficult to refute those because some of them are very solid, like the results from GRACE. So at the moment, the concept that Antarctica is gaining more ice than it is losing is still a climate myth. Until next time, Goodbye.